Hi, I'm Rashid Okalari, coach, speaker, author. Just wanted to stop by just to wish you all the best for this particular season and to give you some tips with coping with and actually flourishing through this particular season. It's a really interesting time. For some people, this is a wonderful time. It's a spiritual time. It's a family time. It's a celebration time. It's a time that they get to reflect and get to rest and to spend time with people who it is that they love and to celebrate for other people. And sometimes for some of the same people, it can be a real stressful time. It can be a lonely time. It can be an expensive time. It can be a time that people perceive as completely overly commercial and may have all sorts of kind of challenges and might have all sorts of connotations or memories and there may well be all sorts of factors linked to the past and the present financial economic social family and all the rest of it so I'm just stopping by to give you three tips about handling the cash handling the celebration and handling communication. Let's start off first of all with the cash. First of all, set a budget that you can afford and stick to it. There's no point getting yourself into debt over the Christmas period. There's no point at all. There are a few things that you can do. First of all, set that actual budget. It might also be the case that there might be a long period of time here between when it is that you're um, paid. Sometimes there's that longer period of time and of course you may well be spending more. So perhaps you might want to set yourself a week by week budget between now and when it is you get paid next or between now and when it is that you suspect that your business will, will, will pick up again. So be man managing that. If finance is particularly your issue then don't buy gifts or set a gift amnesty. This can be really really powerful where you just decide that you're not all going to buy each other gifts or that you might just buy one gift for one person or you might just buy one gift and that gift might be for yourself or just buy gifts for the the kids so be sensible be you could be creative about this as well so that's one thing about handling the cash next up let's handle communication communication is really really important Christmas can be a really difficult time it could be a time of um, bringing up all sorts of uh, um, all sorts of old family and sibling rivalries it could be a time where tempers fray where people are often pushed together for a long period of time so one of the first things about commu um, about Christmas is to decide who you're going to be spending time with and who you're not and have that conversation very early and have that with good heart so everybody gets a chance to get used to that decision of what when you, where you're going to be spending your time so that's the first one the second thing is that don't go there when it comes to the arguments and or the gossip and so on let all of that kind of stuff, stuff go so you've got to know when to stand up but also when to sit back down and when to be quiet and when to say nothing if um, tempers fray then perhaps go out for a walk go for a lie down don't get involved but the other thing about communication is actually it now can be the wonderful time actually to to be forgiving to to move on and um, to wish everybody well to let go of something that happened or didn't happen 30 years ago when you were kids and when you didn't know better so that's the thing about communication and the next one is celebration. It is a time of celebration. Enjoy yourself. You've probably worked hard all year. It's been a very, very tough year for many people, economically, socially, and all the rest of it. Um, so give your time to celebrate. Give your time, to, first of all, to celebrate you. I know that many of you have gone through a really, really tough year and so on, so give yourself credit for being here. Christmas, on the one hand, is about celebrating one very specific life, but it's actually about celebrating all life. So be grateful for the fact that you are actually alive and enjoy it. When it also comes to celebration, now can be a time of a Christmas party, a family get together and so on. Know what your limits are if it comes to food and drink. If you drink, how much drink can you handle? If you eat, if you enjoy eating the mince pies and the turkey or whatever it is or the nut roast, know what your limits are and stick to your limits and be within your limits. Um, and it might well be part of the celebration is also just giving yourself that time to you. So decide the amount of time you want to spend with loved ones and decide the amount of time that you're going to spend for you. And I invite you to Take a little bit of time to have a little bit of a review of your year. What's gone well? What have you learned from the particular year? And what's going to be important for you from moving on from here? And give yourself credit for all that you are and all it is that you've achieved. I wish you all the best for the season and wishing you all the best for the year ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.